So the highly prized trophy went to Mr. Wiley and Master William. The Guardian Farms Park and the start of the marathon. There was a big field eager to run the 26 miles, 385 yards in record time. Out on the road and going strong. Taking the lead after 20 miles, Power of Australia, number one, was going best of all. As he entered the arena alone, that easy stride of his was still something to see. He finished in record time for the Empire Games, but my word, it's murder when you stop. The women's 110 yards backstroke was a tremendous triumph for England's Judy Grinham, the Olympic champion. It was only in the last 20 yards that Judy mastered the challenge of her friend and rival Margaret Edwards. Judy's time of 1 minute 11.9 was a new world record. Well swum, Judy Grinham. Now the climax of the men's 220 yards. Robinson, Bahamas, this side, and Gardner, Jamaica, in the far lane. Robinson just wins, and Gardner falls heavily right at the tape. The 120 yards hurdles was another thrilling highlight. This time Gardner, third lane, was fighting it out with Swart, South Africa, far side. Just as it looked like Swart's race, he fell. Bad luck indeed. So to the mile event on the last day with the New Zealander Scott setting the pace. Piri and Hewson were our strong hopes, and it was Piri taking second place on the heels of Herb Elliott of Australia. But then two more Australians forced Gordon back. was Herb Elliott in the lead, Elliott, winner of the 880 and a star performer of the Games, running on to an under four minute mile. Easy, confident and incredibly strong, his victory was one of the most convincing of the whole meeting. In spite of this complete defeat in the mile, England had finished with a triumphant winning total of 29 gold medals. As the teams came on for the closing ceremony, more headline news was yet to come, the dramatic announcement about Prince Charles during the Queen's recorded speech marking the end of the Games. I intend to create my son Charles, Prince of Wales, today. When he has grown up, I will present him to you at Carnarvon. At Carnarvon Castle, over 600 years ago, the first Prince of Wales received his title. In 1911, the ancient title was conferred upon Prince Edward, now Duke of Windsor, who was then 17 years old. He was presented to the Welsh people by his parents, King George V and Queen Mary. So it was a fitting finale to the recent events in the Principality to hear that another Prince of Wales was to be invested, His Royal Highness Prince Charles, Duke of Cornwall, born nine and a half years ago. Looking at these pictures of the young prince who was at school when the announcement was made, we all join with Welshmen everywhere in saluting His Royal Highness. God bless the Prince of Wales.